day three-ish. We're at it again. Still in South Dakota. That could probably be the name of the video. Still in South Dakota. We're gonna try to make it into Wyoming today. Also, we're gonna be crossing into another time zone from central to mountain. So look forward to that. Wall drug. This is the Missouri River. Ah, oh, knew I'd see you again. And I'm sure this won't be the last time. Very exciting. 
exciting moment here. We are almost leaving South Dakota. A few more minutes, and we'll be out of South Dakota. All right, here we are. About to leave South Dakota. There it is. taking a little break under what appears to be some sort of uh, salix possibly um, letting the car cool off a little we've gotten a little bit up there in altitude and uh, I think we're around uh, 5,000 4,500 5,000 feet or so nice looking little outcropping there won't be long, we'll be back on the road like we always are. Second thought, I think this might be some sort of olive or something. Definitely not Ohio. That's Wyoming soil right there. See these fence things off to the side. Kind of uh, unusual looking to uh, someone maybe back east. These are uh, to create a, a snow drift so that it does the snow doesn't pile up on the roads during the winter. Or maybe they're just for tall cows. Hard to say. We're entering into a conifer forest full of pines. Getting up there in elevation. This is Wyoming. Here we have the bustling town of Gillette, Wyoming. Nice little town. Stopped in Sheridan. Gonna get some food here. There's a rock here that really interests me. It's petrified wood. And it's being used to stop cars from running into a mailbox. That's what it's like in Wyoming. There's this really interesting inn here called the Mill Inn here in uh, Sheridan, Wyoming. And it's an old flour mill converted into a inn for people to stay in. That's uh, pretty unique. And right across the street is dinner. That was filling and delicious. So good. I think I might have to leave Derek's card. Hello. Today is a very exciting day. It, I don't, I don't know what day it is. Maybe fourth-ish day I've been driving. I don't know. 
But today is very exciting because today we're going to be driving and uh, I feel like I haven't done enough of that lately, so that's great. Um, but if we're lucky, we're going to make it into Montana today. Look at that open country. Beautiful. An important moment is about to occur. We are leaving Wyoming. There's the Montana sign. We are now in Montana. See, I'm uh, stopping at Cabela's because some very generous people that I used to work for gave me a gift card, which is awesome. And I'm going to use that to purchase a, uh, a backpack, hopefully. I've just taken a loop around this place, my first time here, and it is a really cool place. They have everything. Here's what I'm looking for. I think this is going to be the one. downtown Billings. We have left Billings. Cattle in a little gully there. That was cool. Uh, we have left Billings and we are headed north and hopefully more cattle. But we'll see uh, Nick sometime today. stopped. It's a work zone. This guy told us to stop. But at least we got a good view. Look at the mountains. You can see the snowpack on them. We've also got some windmills. And 
we're off again. This is what we were stopped for. Well, I'm glad we're moving again. We're back to a good cruising speed. I've got the windows open, so it's kind of noisy. But it's not too bad out. No humidity, probably 85 or so degrees. It's nice. I've put up the windows for a moment so you can hear me. Um, it's really interesting to see around the mountain chains, there's always a uh, grouping of clouds that gets caught on them. You can see that side over there, and then this one over here, there's just this large grouping of, of clouds around the mountains. It's interesting how the terrain affects the, uh, the movement of the clouds like that. The windows are back down, and we're a little closer to the windmills. This area is the Judith Gap Wind Energy Center. I wonder how much energy they're pulling out of this place. It's a lot of windmills. It's just me and the road. Here we have the little town of Moccasin. ahead here we're looking at the Little Belt Mountains. You can see the road up ahead. Oh, here comes a military vehicle. So I have about 50 miles left on my journey here. And you know how sometimes when you uh, or completing something, you uh, really just want to enjoy the last few moments of it, savor it, because you're finally finished with it. Maybe it's something good, like a delicious cheeseburger, or maybe it's something challenging, like building a, a brick wall or something, and, and you just were like, really want to savor those last few moments of that feeling of completion. That's not the case right now. I just want to be done driving. I, I really do. I just want to be done driving and I just want to lay down or stand up. Stand up sounds nice actually to not sit in the car. Closing in now, won't be long. Look at these clouds, looking kind of ominous really. The storm might be brewing. I'm 10 minutes from arrival and I am excited to no longer be driving. The town is out there on the horizon. It's raining pretty good off to the west of here. I wonder if that's headed this way or not. Looks like I might get a little rain shower before I get there. Almost there. Should be right up here. Ah. Hello, Nick. Hello, Terry. So this is it. Made it. Oh, a light. Well, Nick, I don't know about this place. I think I'm gonna head home. This is my view from my window. This is my view on the other side of my window. It's. Not as pleasant as the window.
up on top here at the Frisbee Golf Course. Got our bikes here. Beautiful view of the town and looks like a gorgeous day. It was a bit of a drive, but I think it was worth it. Well, thanks for uh, coming along on this uh, probably very long video.